Okay, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Sebs and um, yeah, doing this channel has been a lot of fun, man. We've been uh, understanding why a lot of legends are legendary. And I think that's going to continue today. We received a uh, tip and donation from Roy. And uh, Roy is telling me I got to check out Neil Pert. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. From Rush. All right. So you see my guitars back there. I grew up with rock and metal. Actually, more metal. And I stuck to my own stuff. My Metallica's, Megadeth. That's what I listened to growing up, as well as with like gangster rap and whatnot. Because I had to, you know, I had to come across as hard, right? When I wasn't. So amongst my friends, I actually kept the secret that I was a huge metal fan and whatnot. But anyway, growing up in rock, you hear certain things, right? You hear about certain bands and, and, and folks that are just legendary and iconic and really were pioneers in a certain genre. So growing up and being in a metal band and whatnot, somehow, I don't know who I heard it from, either my brother or something, but I, I had heard growing up that the drummer of Rush is the greatest drummer ever. I'm like, cool. But when I was young, young, YouTube wasn't really that big of a thing and I didn't really have a desire. So I never really went and, and tried to understand, okay, what, what does that mean? I did watch that movie, I Love You, Man, and they talk about Rush quite a bit on there. And I think they even say the same thing. So with Roy's donation and, and tip, uh, um, I'm, I'm excited to finally see, okay, why do people say this? How great is great? Now let's check this out. This was uploaded on YouTube 10 years ago, has 15 million views, and this is live in Frankfurt, and you just see a bunch of people just thanking this dude for, for posting this. Eight minutes and 42 seconds of a drum solo. Well, uh, I'm intrigued. I'm excited to check this out, so let's roll it. Thank you guys for clicking on this video and hanging out with me to... Uncover, okay, why do people talk about Neil? I really hope I'm saying homie's name right. Because um, I want to show my respects because as I go through the comments, it seems like Neil passed away. So if that was a heartbreak for you, um, I feel you, man. Condolences to his family. So let's see, dude. In HD. Okay, so this is when they're like older. Yeah, homie's like old. I promise I'm gonna keep the pauses at a minimum, but what the F am I looking at here? Kurt was famous for his state-of-the-art drum kits with more than 40 different drums. Sweet Moses, dude. That sounds sweet. And they're purposeful, they're, like the sounds they make. Let's go, dude. That's so sweet.
It can really be a one-man band. So how is he can hit all the things like behind him then? Oh, his seat just swivels. Is he listening to a metronome, dude? If he is, cool. Something tells me he isn't and he's just... Wait. What's happening? What the f This is so dope, dude. I think it was my older brother who told me, yeah, bro, the, the drummer of Rush has like the biggest drum set you'll ever see. But I was, I didn't, I didn't envision it being like an entrap, like an entrapment, like full blown, it's like a cubicle of drums and awesomeness. I've been to three Tool concerts now and Danny Carey is, is my favorite drummer, I think right now. I can see how this dude, because he's way, this guy's way be, before Danny Carey's time. I can see how, why, like, that this guy was one of his inspirations. I love that Danny Carey's polyrhythms here. This is complex, a whole new level. Gosh. remember what sounds he has. <laughs> He's even got like effects and... Now he just sounds like a drumline drummer. Just...
Homie just made cowbell sound like the most gangster thing of all time. <laughs> That's so sick. <laughs> Jeez. Gosh. <laughs> oh, dude, I want to run that back. Because, like, the amount of, like, effort this just barely took. One, he doesn't even seem winded. But then going to that, that was... That's entertainment, bro. Like, like he's just doing a hit sprint. <laughs> This is the one song my, my wife can play on the piano. Oh, that's hilarious. I don't understand playing a, a melody with drums. Is there like a band there too that's like... He doesn't have like a synthesizer somewhere, does he? Okay. All right. So homie can play like melodies and music while he's drumming with them. He created one of the most elaborate drum kits ever. Probably keeps changing it. And that was a composition. It wasn't just like, I have these drums. Let me just hit random things at random times. He like had composed it, which to me is actually more impressive. In a symphony with all of these percussionists, he is doing what all of them are doing as one person. He is, he is an entire percussion section by himself. And he didn't even seem phased. Granted, it's not like we had a heart rate monitor to see how, how like if he was dying or not. But at that age, I mean, think about how like in shape you gotta be for that. Yes, I'm going through the comments here. This one comment, when an, what an athlete he was. Yeah, yeah, I see everyone saying, with, without a doubt, the best drummer to have ever lived. <laughs> That's a funny one. Somebody had died in the audience that night, but Neil's drum solo brought them back to life. That's a good one. So was it, was it, what's their big song, Tom Sawyer? Cause I remember, again, I remember them like jamming to that in, um, I love you, man. Wasn't it in like guitar hero with us growing up? So I know I've like heard rush. We've checked out rush on this channel. 
Give me a sec. Yeah, so we checked out the Spirit of Radio in March last year, and I'm almost positive when I uh, when we checked it out that I was like I heard about Neil Peart being the best drummer. Also, like I, I'm almost positive we mentioned that. But this was so great to just see him independently, uh, just understanding how great he was. Yeah, go ch go check out that other reaction. That was technically my first time listening to Rush beat beside like. Again, hearing Tom Sawyer uh, in passing. Maybe I'd like to do a video actually sitting down and fully pay attention to, to, to Tom Sawyer. Think about like the lyrics and whatnot. Notice the thing. Because like all I can think about is Marshall Stinson just singing the parts of Rush and also Paul Rudd playing the slap in the bass. Oh, dude, that was so cool. Inspiring, honestly. I'm not even a drummer, but that's inspiring. Well, very cool. Guys, thank you for hanging out here. I, I'm excited to hear from you guys. Please comment down below your, your thoughts. And Roy, thanks again for, for the suggestion and for supporting the channel, man. Much love, everybody. Oh, till the next one, and I hope it's soon.